Hello. I read this book a couple of days ago. Um, it's called Just a Little Run Around the World by Rosie Swale Pope. Uh, it's quite an inspiring thing to go on a really large journey or something of it's, it's like a, a feat. Um, and obviously this is quite a big thing to do to walk all the way around the world. Um, they did it in just under five years. Well, yeah, f just over five years rather. Um, all on foot. So uh, I think that's quite inspiring because not many people do that type of thing. Um, in a way, I think it's a bit. M it's it's also a bit surprising that it's a female who did it because um, most most of these survival type things seem to be done by males and yeah <laughs> it's, it's good that a female did this sort of thing I think um, they're quite realistic about how it happened you know sometimes good things happen in the book and sometimes there are things that have to be overcome such as injury or bad people in the world but overall there's lots of good people in the book who help the journey along and it's quite a good book I think. There's a couple of things that I didn't like about it or maybe I didn't understand such as I wrote down that on uh, page 210 she writes there are no atheists on an adventure or in battle which I thought was a bit odd because um, it sort of implies that atheists can't see beautiful things or adventurous things. You know, only people who believe in God can, and I think that's just wrong. <laughs> it's not an opinion, it's wrong, um, really. And another thing I, I thought, well, I made, made me think was uh, during the book she has a problem with her teeth because she hasn't kept good care of them over this time um, and she says that in her life she hasn't really bothered taking good care of her teeth I mean when she was 12 apparently she almost lost her teeth um, and I don't know why someone would do that if you almost lost your teeth already in your life why would you not then start looking after them after then um, looking after her teeth wouldn't have been a hard thing to do, I think. But it, I found it odd specifically because she did keep on looking after her hair and she kept on shampooing and she mentioned several times in the book uh, trying to wash her hair and trying to use shampoo. And I think surely sh uh, trying to wash your hair is going to take up a lot more water and um, trying to use shampoo is going to take trying to transport all this shampoo around and stuff it's going to take more effort than looking after your teeth um, you could probably brush your teeth without water you could just use the brush dry but it just seems a silly thing to have not done to just not bother with that if you're gonna it's not about the effort that goes to it obviously because she's willing to do something that takes up loads of effort on this journey such as try and wash your hair so why wouldn't you put in the small amount of effort that comes with brushing your teeth at the same time I don't know, I don't get that personally personally, I would prefer clean teeth to clean hair because the teeth are probably the thing that can actually cause me pain whereas hair, you could put, I could probably if I went on something like that, you could probably just shave off your hair and say whatever for the journey. <laughs> you know, it's not going to affect you, your hair, for your life, but your teeth can affect you. Um, it just seemed like a really stupid thing to do. It seemed like um, a contrast to the amount of effort to keeping healthy and safe throughout the journey and not injuring her legs or whatever. To just ignore an aspect and need a dentist at some point it seemed ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but it is good to hear about an assortment of places, you know, rather than just 
one place or something, you know, it's the whole world and that's pretty good and I'm not trying to say it's any less of an accomplishment because it is an accomplishment even if there is a couple of negative points, you know, um, and the negative points aren't any anything big in the book really, it's just a, a couple of mentions to things that I found a bit odd, obviously, as I say. Um, the atheist thing and brushing your teeth is basically everything I would say was negative about it. Um, I think everyone's experiences in life are different and obviously if this particular person seems to think that atheists aren't an adventure and that, yeah, that's it. I read this book and um, I think it's pretty good. Um, she did the whole walking around the world thing for awareness of getting checked out for cancer because previous to this uh, she lost her husband to cancer. And I think that also that was a really good way of commemorating someone to actually go on a big journey and it shows that he actually really, really mattered to her life because she put all, all, done all this afterwards, you know? It's just getting out there and I guess it's a sign of wanting to keep living, you know, keeping life sacred after someone goes just doing something, doing something worthwhile and big and, you know, taking on a journey rather than not. Well, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just keeping things going. I mean, from what I gather, when her husband was alive, they did not not the same thing, but, you know, they were runners and the so forth. So it was probably something that he would have encouraged or liked. And, yeah, it's nice when people get along and people do things for one another and yeah, that's about it.